What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mine Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and in today's episode, Cubic Mining on your GPU is back. We've got a brand new CUDA miner from Cubic Solutions RQ Miner, and today I'm going to walk you through how to set that up in Windows and Hive OS. But before we get into the content, you know the drill. Smash that like button, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest GPU mining stuff. So, as you may or may not be aware, each week Cubic changes a lot with each new epoch. And although GPUs were capable of mining Cubic before, the profitability changes drastically from one epoch to another. And right now is a good time to be mining it with your GPU. Now, I'm going to warn you in advance, this is not some beginner level stuff. There is a lot to go through. So, sit back, strap in. This is going to take a little while. So let's start out with Windows first. The very first thing that you want to do is make sure that your drivers are up to date. And a good way to check and see what you're running is to go down to your search bar and start typing in device manager. And once you've got that pulled up, you're going to go to display adapters and you're going to right click on your GPU and select properties. From there, you're going to select driver, and it should show you what driver version you are currently on. And you can tell by the installation date whether or not you're on one of the latest. So if you don't update your drivers, there's a good chance that this will not work. So just a heads up. Now, if you're in Hive OS, you can tell what driver version you are running in the bottom right hand corner here. Now, if you need to update your Windows drivers, then you can just simply head over to nvidia.com forward slash download and there you'll be able to select drivers and you just simply pick what is the appropriate driver for your GPU. Once you've selected the GPU you can go ahead and hit download and then just simply run through a fresh install. Now for Hive OS you can update your NVIDIA drivers using one of two commands. Either you can simply choose NVIDIA-driver-update and that's going to install the latest version or to see the full list and all available options, you can do NVIDIA-Driver-Update-List and then you'll be able to select specifically which driver you want to install. So in order to update your drivers, you want to stop your miner. Then you're going to go into your settings and scroll down until you see maintenance mode. Then you're going to select without loading drivers. Now we're going to go ahead and open Hive Shell. And then we're going to go paste from browser and we're going to paste that command NVIDIA driver update. We're going to hit enter and then it's going to install the latest driver for your NVIDIA GPUs. Now you want to make sure and wait until it says done and driver installation successful. Now you want to head back over to maintenance mode and disable that and I recommend hitting the restart or reboot option. And reboot is going to take a considerable amount of time so be patient. And once the reboot is complete, you want to go ahead and stop the miner. Make sure that you're not currently mining anything. And here's where we're going to get our commands. So we're going to do wget and we're going to choose the latest version of the RQ miner. Okay, wait a minute. Hold up. I have some good news for you guys and some bad news for me. I had already finished recording this entire video and it was a long, drawn out process to get this going. But... A newer version of RQ Miner has just been released, and now I can run a custom miner, and it really simplifies this whole process. So, let's start over. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is create a new wallet. And this is going to be Cubic. And then you're going to paste your new wallet address in here, and you're going to give it a name. Now keep in mind, I'm no longer using the wallet ID, I'm actually using the wallet address. And then once you have created that, you'll just go back to your workers, then flight sheets, and you're going to select cubic as your coin. Configure in miner for the pool, and then we're going to create a custom miner. So special thanks to Viper Pool because they created a URL for the miner. So you're just going to paste that URL in there, wallet and worker template. Just going to put your worker name there. Pool doesn't matter, it knows where it's going. 
And then you need to make sure that you put your complete wallet address down there in the extra config arguments. Now, as far as overclocks go, I'm running them pretty high. You can see I've got my core set at 1590 and memory at 2400, power limit set at 150 on these 3070 Ti's. But there's gonna be a variety of different overclocks depending on how efficient you wanna get. Personally, it looks like this is giving me the most yield even after power considerations at my power rate, so your circumstances may be different. So now on to Windows users. So what you're gonna do is you're going to select 3.22 and you're gonna scroll down to where you see the RQ Miner CUDA EXE file. Once you select that, you may get a little pop-up warning you that your browser has blocked the download. Just simply allow that at your discretion. And you should see this file or this EXE file in your downloads. Now, what I did was I right-clicked it and I simply copied it and then I pasted it into a new folder because you do need to create your own bat file to put in the same folder with the EXE file. Now, in my case, I have the RQ miner for the CUDA version separate from the RQ miner for the CPU. Now, you can create your own bat file pretty easily. You just need to open up your notepad, and this is what it's going to look like. So, you're just going to have the RQ miner exe with your wallet address and then the worker name. Then, you're going to go File, Save As and make sure that you name it .bat. It's very important and then change this to all files and then hit save. Then whenever you're ready you're just simply going to right click the bat file. If you select run as administrator it's not going to work so you just simply need to double click it to launch it. And then when you want to check your stats if you'll just head over to cubic.commando.sh and then paste your wallet address in here and there you go you should be able to see all of your workers and all of your solutions found by the way somebody I guess watched my how to mine cubic on your phone video and it looks like uh, they've got their raspberry pies pointed to my address so if that's you you probably want to go in there and change that now as far as profitability is concerned this basically is solo mining so we can't say for sure exactly what your profitability is going to look like but there are a couple of estimators out there uh, one is from collab research and I'll leave a link to this down in the description below but you're just simply going to go in here and edit your hash rate and then hit the little play button and it takes a few minutes to populate what your current profitability looks like but at this very moment with my farm we're looking at seventy six dollars a day in income and each share or each soul is worth four dollars and twenty three cents now if we pull up hash rate dot no uh, we can put those same numbers in here and see what it looks like as well this will be at ten cents per kilowatt hour and it's showing seventy seven dollars and twenty seven cents so both of these are pretty close to one another so right now the price of cubic is sitting at 0 0.00006502 and it is up about 157 percent from its initial launch according to when coin market cap started tracking it but this coin is growing in popularity and perhaps it's going to do really well maybe not who knows only time will tell but at this very moment it is super profitable on your gpus and probably the most profitable thing to mine with them and that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the content. Remember to smash that like button if you haven't already. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date, and I will see you on the next one.